Hey guys, welcome to Elseline Fitness. Today we're going to be doing a waist workout. Um, waist workouts tend to consist of core exercises, whereas my one is plank variations, which is core, but you don't have to move around too much because it's different kinds of planks. You will feel the bell in this one, but it will definitely be worth it. And that will get you looking slim thick. Right, so that's enough talking. When you hear this bell, it means start the exercise. And you'll see the exercise coming up next in the 10 second rest. You have 10 seconds till the exercises begin. As you can see, there are seven exercises. We're doing each exercise for 30 seconds and we're doing two sets of them. Make sure you get your knee right up to your elbow as far as possible and make sure you keep your bum down so that you're really feeling the exercise. You now have 10 seconds till the next exercise starts, which is plank jump ins. When doing these, try to be consistent as to how far back you jump and with the rhythm, because if you have a rhythm, it makes it easier to do the exercise. So next we have side plank crunches, you have 5 seconds to get into position. Switch sides as quick as possible. Then start back again. Make sure you're engaging your core throughout this whole exercise. Next exercise is plank bug. If you're new to core workouts, you can start by lifting either your leg or your arms rather than both and then you can progress to lifting both at the same time. Next we have plank twist, you have 3 seconds, when doing this don't allow your knees to touch the ground at any point. Five seconds left, keep pushing. Second to last exercise is side plank pulses. Again, don't let your knees touch the floor at any point of this exercise and try and push your hips right up. Last but not least, we have the plank.
This is the last push. To get the full effect of the exercise, make sure you keep your bum down and engage your core. Ten seconds left. You now have a one minute break, which you can use to drink some water and or just breathe. Your next set is your second and final set. You've done so well to get this far, so just keep pushing and try to finish the workout. You have 30 seconds left. The last step is knee to elbow planks and it starts in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Next exercise is plank jump ins. Make sure you're ready. You have three seconds. The second set will most likely be harder than the first, but keep pushing. You've got this far, so there's no reason why you can't finish it. Next exercise is side plank crunches. Again, remember to keep your core engaged. Next exercise is plank bug. Next we have plank twists. Again, make sure your knees don't touch the ground and your core is engaged and your hips touch the ground on each side. Perfect. Next we have side plank pulses. Remember consistency is key in this workout so make sure you keep pushing and you do it properly so your hips need to come off the ground and your core needs to remain engaged. To 
finish it off, we have plank. Really push yourself, make sure your glutes are down and make sure you're not swinging side to side. Engage that core, you only have 20 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and press the bell button so you get all your notifications. And please check out my channel. I also have a boots workout that will go really well with this if you want to be looking all hourglassy and you want to be slim thick. So um, hit subscribe, press the bell, enjoy, have a good day, and I hope that you try to stay productive during this quarantine. See ya.